Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial. So, as usual, link in the description for the Discord if you need any help. So we're actually just going to jump right into it. This tutorial we're actually going to work on the weapons way. Um, so inside our camera holder, I'm going to create a 3D object. I'm just going to create a cube. Um, so for now, this will be our weapon. This is basically just so that we can test the weapons way and actually see how it looks. So I'm just going to position it so that it's close to the camera, um, same place your kind of your weapon would be. So I'm just going to pop that there. Um, so it might start clipping in the camera. Don't worry about size or anything right now. Um, let me just try to get that positioning right. We want to try to get the size roughly right, but um, it's all going to be adjustable later. So I'm going to do an assault rifle. So we'll just pick a roughly the size of an assault rifle. Um, I think think that'll do cool all right so you may also notice we got some near clipping here on the camera um, so to get rid of that we just click on the camera open up the camera component and inside there I believe it is general uh, we have clipping panes it's set to 0.3 uh, just set that to 0.1 um, and that should stop that clipping for the item being too close to the camera Okay, so now that it's here, um, let's just make sure we position it roughly where we want our weapon to be. Um, so say for example, I'll put it there. Okay, so this is our weapon. Um, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to have multiple, we're going to have tiered game objects, which uh, basically will represent pivot points. Um, and we'll rotate the gun on those pivot points via code, um, depending on our mouse input, whether we're moving and whether we're jumping, for instance. Um, so this tutorial we're just doing weapon sway. Um, so we have our weapon. So what we want to do is I want to create um, an empty inside it. And I'm just going to call this uh, weapon pivot. And I'm actually going to click and drag that out and make the cube a child of it. So I'm going to rename this cube to weapon model. Okay, so we should have our weapon pivot and weapon model. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to move the weapon model so that the pivot is exactly where we want it to be. So I kind of want it near where the hand is going to be. So you see if we move that a little and then check the pivot. Move that a little more. Check the pivot. There we go. What you could actually do is click and drag that out so that they're separate, not parented. Click on the pivot and then just click and drag it to where you want it to be. So like I said, I kind of want it around here. Um, we'll play around with this later, but if I make the weapon model a child of the pivot, but then rotate the pivot, you can kind of see the axis that we're going to be having the sway on. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. I'm just going to move our weapon pivot back to where I think the weapon should be. Right about there. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our script for this. Um, so inside our scripts folder, I'm just going to create another folder for weapons. And inside that folder, I'll create another c -sharp script for our weapon controller. We'll just go ahead, double click that to open it up. All right, so we want to get rid of all of this. Um, and we actually want to go back to Unity and open up our SCR underscore models as well, because we're going to create a default settings uh, for our weapons. We'll create another region here for weapons. And inside it, I'm going to create a public class um, and we'll just call that weapon model. Um, actually, to stay in line with our player settings naming convention, we'll call this weapon settings model. Then inside it, we're going to have a few variables. So firstly, we'll have a header um, and we'll just call this sway. And inside here, we'll have a public float for sway amount and a public float for sway smoothing okay so nice and simple um, we're going to go inside our weapons controller and around the top here we'll get rid of the usings that we're not using and we'll add another one the using static um, and then we want our scr models all right, so now we're, now we're going to create an instance of that class that we just made. 
Uh, so first, let's create a header. And we will call this settings. And then we'll create a public paste weapon settings model. And we'll just call that settings. All right, let's go back to models. We need to make sure we add the serializable attribute to this model. Cool. All right, let's go back into Unity. Um, we'll click on our weapon pivot. Let's just uh, let's get rid of pivot. Let's just <laughs> let's just call that weapon. Um, all right, and then we'll click and drag our weapon controller onto the weapon. Cool. All right, so now we have our settings, sway amount and sway smoothing. Um, so for now, I'm just going to set sway amount to one and smoothing to one. Go back here. All right, so a few things we need to do. Um, if we actually open up our character controller script, I'm actually going to take a few things from here. But I want to bring in the input stuff, so I'm just going to copy that, go over to our weapon controller. And the reason we don't need the uh, actually, we do need the movement. Uh, actually, don't worry, ignore that. Let's create uh, a private on here. So we'll create a public and we'll add a reference to our character controller. There we go. All right, and then same here in our character controller. Let's create a header. And inside this header, we will just call it weapon. And we'll create a public class, uh, sorry, public class, a public SCR underscore weapon controller called current weapon. Okay. Um, so in our awake, I'm actually just gonna uh, say that if we specify a current weapon, and we could say current weapon. Um, let's create a public initialize quick on our weapon controller. We'll say public, and we'll just call this a void initialize with a Z or an S, depending on how you spell it in your country. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to bring in a character controller. And all I'm going to do is set this character controller. Uh, to the one that we pass in. So obviously now we need to call this initialize from our character controller. We have current weapon dot initialize and then we just want to pass it itself. So we want to pass it this. Cool. Nice and easy. And now our weapon is initialized. Cool. So let's just create a bool for later use. Is initialized. Um, you can probably guess what we're going to do with this once we initialize. We set that to true. Cool. All right, now let's create a void update. And inside here, we'll just do an if and then exclamation mark for not is initialized. And if we aren't initialized, we just, uh, that's not how you spell return. We'll just return. So if it's not initialized, just ignore everything we put below this. Okay. So now we need to um, actually configure the sway. So nice and simple, if we just go off of local rotation, um, we don't even need to store the original rotation because we're assuming it's going to be zero, which it should always be zero. All right, so, <clears throat> so let's create a uh, vector three for our new weapon rotation. Um, and we'll also create a vector three for velocity because we will be smooth dumping this. Okay, so <clears throat> new weapon rotation is going to be nice and simple. Um, so we'll give it a default value, may as well, inside um, a start. You just say new weapon rotation equals transform dot local rotation or local rotation. Um, and we'll just call earlier angles. Um, because it's a vector three, we're not going to work with quaternions. 
Um, and now we have this set up, what we're actually going to do is our new weapon rotation. Um, we're going to alter. So if I go to our character controller, you can see here how we alter the rotations. Um, we're going to do exactly the same uh, with our weapon. All right, so I'm going to bring this across. I'm just going to copy that. Um, go back over to our weapon controller and paste that in here. Um, so obviously a few things to fix. Instead of new character rotation, we're using our new weapon rotation. I'm just going to go ahead and everywhere I find new camera rotation, let's just go ahead and replace that. Okay, player settings is now just called settings. Um, instead of sensitivity, we are using sway amount. So settings.sway amount instead of sensitivity. Then we'll just go ahead and change all of this. Leave the inverted for now because we're actually gonna actually gonna change that around. Um, and just comment out the clamping because we will need to clamp. Uh, but we'll come back to that. Okay, and the reason I say leave inverted is because I actually still want these settings. So let's go back over to models um, and inside here we'll create a public bool for sway y inverted um, and also sway x inverted. Okay, and now that we have those two bools, we'll just go over to uh, where we have them here and we're going to pop them in. So again, player settings is now just settings um, and we'll use our sway x inverted and then just down here we will use our sway y inverted. Okay, all right, let's, um, we'll cut this um, and we'll just pop this down here. Um, and then obviously we wanna use our new weapon rotation. Okay, so the only errors we should have is where we get the input from and we have our clamping commented out. Okay, so Actually pretty simple. Um, instead of input.view.x we use our character controller dot input view dot x and dot y. So basically we're using the variable except we're gonna be using the variable from our character controller. That's gonna tell us off because I believe this is a private. So let's go over to our character controller, find our input input view, we'll call that a public. Still don't want it to show in the inspector, so we're gonna add an attribute called hide an inspector, which will hide it in inspector. <laughs> okay, so now that's all set up nice and dandy. Obviously we're not doing our smoothing just yet, and we're not doing our clamping just yet, and we're also not resetting it to zero. So let's go back into Unity, because I still wanna see if it works. Um, so let's go over to our player, open our character controller script, and we should be able to set a current weapon, which obviously is the weapon that we've just created. I'm going to click and drag that in. I'm going to click on weapon. Um, and you see we've got no inverting or anything going on. Just nice and simple, so I'm going to hit play. So our weapon shouldn't reset and it should be able to go right round, which as you can see if I keep looking round it does, which is exactly the result we're expecting. All right, so if I come out of this, um, let's uh, actually, let me just switch up our sway amount to say like 10, for example. There you go, you can see it working, but obviously as you can see, there's no reset or anything. All right, so we're pretty much halfway there with the weapon smoothing. Um, you can go ahead and try and finish it now um, by yourself as a little challenge. If not, uh, the next episode, uh, the next tutorial will be out tomorrow. So again, thank you for watching. If you have, if you need any help, just go ahead and join the Discord. Thank you for watching. <laughs>